Secure VPN is a fast and reliable VPN service at a very attractive price. With 2,000 plus servers across 140 plus countries, it's perfect to secure your connection on up to 10 of your devices at once. Secure VPN can help you watch almost anything from some of the internet's most popular streaming services, such as Netflix and Disney Plus. Booking a flight? Change your region to access lower prices available in other parts of the world. Why not give the highest rated VPN a go today? In an exclusive deal to Simple Flying viewers, Pure VPN is now offering a special 7-day trial for just 99 cents. Sign up with the link in the description. We've all seen situations where aircraft have to dump fuel before returning to an airport. You might assume it's something all aircraft types do, but that isn't the case. Several types of aircraft cannot dump fuel, including the Boeing 757. Why? Well, the reason is actually quite simple. There's a perception that aircraft dump fuel to reduce the risk of explosion when landing. That's not the case. It's all about aircraft types. Different aircraft types have different maximum allowable landing weights. For some aircraft types, that maximum allowable landing weight is substantially less than the aircraft's takeoff weight. The Boeing 747, 777 and Airbus A380s are examples. These three aircraft types do have fuel dumping capabilities. These are big, heavy planes and fuel adds even more weight. The Boeing 747 burns about 10 tons of fuel an hour. Over a 12 to 14 hour flight, that's well over 100 tons of weight. If the plane needs to return to its origin airport unexpectedly, that weight can put a lot of stress on a plane when it lands. It also means these big planes will need a lot of extra runway in order to come to a stop. These design and operational limitations mean some aircraft have a maximum allowable landing weight substantially below their maximum allowable takeoff weights. So if a 747 needs to return unexpectedly, it usually needs to dump fuel to meet the landing weight requirements. But the Boeing 757 is different. Its maximum allowable takeoff weight is similar to its maximum allowable landing weight. The 757 isn't alone. Have you ever heard of a Boeing 717, 737 or an Airbus A300, A310 or A320 having to dump fuel before returning to an airport? There's a little blurring around the edges here. Any aircraft that needs to return is going to take a certain amount of time to turn around and line up for an approach. Fuel will get burnt off. Federal Aviation Regulations or FARs are rules prescribed by the United States Federal Aviation Administration. To avoid installing a fuel dump capability, FAR 25 states that an aircraft type must be capable of returning to an airport within 15 minutes of takeoff. You also need to note that the Boeing 757 is a substantially smaller plane than the 777, 747 and A380. Packed tight, a 757-300 could carry up to approximately 290 passengers and has a maximum allowable takeoff weight of 124 tons. In contrast, the Boeing 747-400 can carry up to 416 passengers and has the maximum allowable takeoff weight of nearly 397 tons. The A380 is even larger. So, to wrap things up, it's the weight that matters when it comes to landing. A fully laden 757 weighs a lot less than a fully loaded 747. It means the 757 can pull up faster, it means there'll be less stress on the airframe and landing gear. And these are the reasons why some aircraft have fuel dumping capabilities and some do not. As the trend towards smaller aircraft continues, fuel dumping will become less and less frequent. From an economic and environmental perspective, that can only be a good thing. Have you ever been on a flight that's had to dump fuel? Share your experience with us in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.